What better way to spend New Year's Day than at the legendary Mummers Parade in Philadelphia? A lot of preparations went into the iconic event, and it's finally time to showcase all of that hard work. Eyewitness News reporter Crystal Cranmore joins us live from South Philadelphia with more. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning. Well, all morning I've been talking about the history of the Mummers Parade. I've been talking about the history of the Avalon String Band. And here's the moment that so many of you have been waiting for. Unique costumes. I mean, get a look at all these bright colors. You have the sequins, glitter. I see some feathers over here. Look at this lobster. Now, I'll give you a second to guess what the theme is. And in the meantime, I'm going to talk to my new friend, the captain here, Carmen. What can you tell me? The theme is this year. Oh, good morning, everybody. Happy New Year. Uh, we're doing the uh, uh, Avalanche taking you down the bayou. Uh, we're we're going to be on the bayou today. We've got some alligators. We've got some frogs. we got lobsters. Uh, that explains the green, all the yes, green. Yes, yes. Uh, as you can see, uh, a lot of alligators are incorporated in our suits here. This is my suit. The lobsters. A little bit of a talk about our fin action there, you know what I mean? Wow. So, uh, and I mean, these look so bright. They look, you know, very, very nice, very quality. Uh, how much do these costumes costumes run for? Uh, costumes typically run up to you know anywhere from fifty to eighty thousand dollars a year to put out on the street. We've been we've been pretty smart the last several years. Uh, we have, we have a guy in the band, Jim Tater, who's just uh, he's aces. <laughs> yeah, we have a sweatshop upstairs. We like to call it in the sewing machines, and we've been doing a lot, a lot of stuff in the house. Mm. Uh, we have used some suits from the past and reused them and, and, and took gems off them and put the mirrors off them and put them back on our suits and been very, very smart about it. Wow. So so let's talk, let's take a quick walk down memory lane here. This is one of the very first costumes here that we're looking at, correct? Uh, yes, when, uh, when, the, when the band was reorganized, that's from the Hobo Express. That's a, that's a... It's an old suit up there. It's from 1980, uh, 1983 right now. So. Wow, it's a lot of history yeah, in this building. Yeah, a lot of building. history. We got some pictures hanging up here on the wall. A lot, a lot of different stuff. As you can see, some. Uh, perfect, perfect. So Award-winning themes, you know, so top looking, four contender. Nice. So. so looking for a big day today, correct? Huge day today. It's going to be a great day. This this string band division today, with these uh, the first seven bands going up, and I know Jersey's thrown in thrown in there up in the beginning, mm -hmm. but once Woodland, Avalon, mm -hmm. South Philly, uh, Frowinger, Quaker, and then even Furco there after Quaker, this is this is going to be one hell of a fight right off the bat. And guess what? That's what it's all about. We worked this hard for it, and uh, it's going to be a very interesting day. Can't wait to see how the results come out tonight. Perfect. Good so. luck and happy New Year, Thank sir. You. Thank you so much. So again, the parade starts at nine o'clock, ends around five. You'll want to get there early because it gets crowded, and you'll want to secure your spot on the sidelines. For now, we're live in South Philadelphia. Crystal Fanmore, CBS Three Eyewitness News. I wish I had their wardrobe budget. Oh my goodness, yeah, that Did was imagine? crazy. And Crystal, you know, we do expect you to kind of model for us mm. in the next half hour. Yeah. I'm just throwing it out maybe, there. Maybe in the next hit. Okay, <laughs> okay. 6.30, got it. We'll see you then, thanks.